uh, we just saw uh, sort of at this point last year, you guys just started clicking offensively and really kind of carried you like the back stretch of the conference play. Uh, this last year game has been pretty efficient offensively as well, or last four now. So uh, what's really been clicking for you on the offensive end these last few games while you guys are you know, kind of getting into this good rhythm uh, on offensive end today? Uh, I think we're buying in. <laughs> I mean, I think earlier in the season, you know, we we're still figuring it out. We had so many different scores, so many different personalities. And, you know, I think sometimes it takes time, you know, and we're starting to figure it out. You know, guys starting to figure out, you know, any night, you know, Bones was hot tonight. Next night it could be black, IV, you know. I think we're figuring out just let the game come to us and we're hard to beat when we play like that. Yeah. Hey, Marcus, uh, what was the plan on Um, I mean, credit to him. He's a talented player. I mean, offensively, you know, defensively. But, uh, and, you know, we know he makes their team go. Um, but, um, you know, it's taking the challenge. You know, I, you know uh, I was assigned to him. You know, I took the challenge. But it wasn't just me. You know, Bones came in, did a great job on him. Um, you know, it was rotation, Santos hedging. So, um, you know, we had a great game plan from the coaches. And then everybody bought in uh, and just stepped up for the challenge. Darianta, you guys came out in, out of halftime really, really hot. How crucial was that from your perspective, that, that run, that 24-8 run to open the half in terms of sealing the deal? Uh, we know when they went in, uh, on, the, on their run in the first half, it was all self-inflicted. Uh, so in halftime, we talked about just coming on and getting to a fast start and uh, doing what we did to start the game off. <coughs> That's a bit, pretty much what we did. Marcus, 2,000 career points. What was the feeling of that shotgun, and especially getting caught on three? Tell you, I mean. <laughs> Bigger than the 2000, it just felt good to see the ball go through the hoop. I mean, yeah. it's been a while. I mean, my teammates, they've been staying on me. You know, it's it's been a rough stretch, but uh, just to see the ball go through the hoop and this is, you know starting to get confidence back, mm -hmm. uh, that's that's bigger for me. You know, um, 2000, you know, I'm blessed to to be able to score that, but you know, just just to start getting my rhythm back and you know, my teammates are great. Like I said, they've been on me this whole time and you know, it kept giving me confidence. So bigger than that, it just just felt good to. You know, put a game together, sure. full team win. Follow, follow up. Um, I know it was probably fun to get it at, at home tonight, but did it hurt at all falling just three points short uh, up in Philly at LaSalle? Um, no, not at all. We won the game, you know what I mean? Like, what people don't understand is, like, I'm, I, at the end of the day, I want to win, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's all I care about. So if I have two points and we win, that's that's cool with me, you know what I'm saying? We won the game in LaSalle. So, if I if I didn't get it till the end of the season, last game of the season or not at all, was, if we holding up a trophy, I I really, truly don't care. You know what I mean? That's all that matters to me. Marcus, is your last two games at home here uh, as a team been your best two of the season, Bonnie and then tonight? I didn't play Bonnie. Uh, yeah. no, no, not, not the team. Oh oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. okay. okay. <laughs> oh, my bad. I'm just no, understood. Right, no. uh, <laughs> you know, oh no. Yeah. You know, absolutely. You guys really kind of. Caught the bug. Absolutely. I mean, I think those two, these two games, we really put a, a full team win together. I mean, when you look on the scoreboard, you know, I think we play our best when you see 15, 10, 9, 7, you know. Um, obviously, like I said, there'll be games where somebody has 20, but when you have everybody locked in, you know, offensively, defensively like that, I mean, we're really tough to beat, and that's when we're not our best. And, you know, if we can keep stringing those together, you know, I think we'll put ourselves in a great position heading into the second half of conference in March. Mm -hmm. The conference starting to see everything that you started to see back this summer. Absolutely, I mean, this you guys have only seen like half <laughs> what what this what he can really do. Like this guy is so talented. I mean, he's still learning. You know, he's a freshman. He's gonna get that much better. But you know, especially with you know him coming in and people, you know, being a freshman, you know, not always on the scout report. You know, if he gets a one on one situation, you know, I'm I'm putting my money on him scoring. But he does so much, and you know, he's gonna keep learning. He's gonna keep getting better. Um, and he's, he's been a huge part for us, especially as a freshman. So uh, you guys are just seeing, like I said, what we've all known he can do, and he's just going to keep getting better, you know, especially since he wants to get better. You know, he listens to the coaches, listens to his teammates, and you know, as long as he keeps doing that, the sky's the ceiling for him. Well, you mentioned getting back in a rhythm. Could you kind of, I guess, put in perspective what the season's been like? Have you been banged up, had a concussion, just kind of you know, up and down? Could you kind of put in perspective of this, this year's been like? Could you, you know, try to get back in a rhythm now? Um, I mean, I, I've dealt with a lot of things. I mean, not all of them were on court, and you know, I'm not getting into everything. You know, I've had some off court things that I've had to deal with throughout this season. And like I said, my coach and my teammates have been. You know, this is a family. It's truly a family. When I went through, you know, the things that I went through, they were right there with me. And um, 
you know, they, they kept staying on me, you know, stay aggressive, stay aggressive, it's going to come in. And like you said, you know, just to see it start to click a little bit um, while everybody else is still playing, you know, high level ball, it just, it just feels great to, you know, you know, finally get back into the flow of things. But, you know, I owe it all to my teammates and my coaches, you know, they, they never wavered from me, even when, you know, other people may have doubted and everything like that. These guys, you know, they put trust in me and they put confidence in me. So I, I love these guys to death for that. Talking about, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, you talk about the offense as a whole, but the three-point shooting in particular, you guys have shot the ball from deep uh, really over well the last four or two. Um, I know before the season, you guys talked about it. It felt like the three-point line change was that much of an effect because, you know, uh, you guys were shooting with that depth anyway. But um, why do you think you've seen that, that increase from last year overall, even with the three-point line moving back? What do y'all got this? <laughs> uh, Bones Holland and uh, <laughs> Malik Crowfield, <laughs> Kello, uh, they just been knocking down shots. and. Uh, I think when we knocking down threes, it opened up the paint for uh, Santos and for driver lanes. And so uh, it's just about us staying in the gym, continuing to work on it, and, and it translating into the games. Bones, is uh, Rhode Island getting a different team than they saw here a few weeks ago on Friday? For sure, for sure. Uh, we've been in the gym sticking to the game plan and every every day, like, just been we just been a collective unit just, just coming together and just, just wanting to get better. And ever since uh, the loss that we lost here back against Rhode Island, we just came together collectively as a family and just, just wanted to get better. And then it's showing out there on the court. I know that's always the case here, but just, just how much were you guys kind of feeding off the crowd today? It seemed like it was obviously always, always hyped up for the Richmond game. But uh, they had a couple of uh, 10 second violations early, got the VCU chain going early. Just how much were you guys feeding off that? You pulled away in the first half and then again in the second half? Uh, like I always say, uh, VCU fans, I say that's one of the best fans in the country. Like we feed off of them sometimes too. And when they into it and we're gone, it, it's, it's no stopping us. So when they into it, it's just, it's just feel like we, we unguardable, we unstoppable. And it just keep us going and keep us flowing. Looking back on it now, how big was that three point shot? Huge. I mean, like I said, Bones is a uh, a great one on one player. Uh, he got a he got a switch. Honestly, as soon as he left his hand, I, I knew it was going in. <laughs> he hit that shot on me a couple of times in practice. I got mad, but as soon as he left his hands, I knew it was good. But it was huge because uh, you know it kind of it kind of calmed things down going to the half and it and it relaxed everybody. Like, all right, it's a zero zero game. You know, yeah. we come back out here and we get it back going. But um, now nah, it was a huge shot. But like I said, I, as soon as he left his hand, oh, I knew that was going in. <laughs> Anything else, guys? All right. <laughs> Recipes.